So we're in the medicine garden now. Um, we set this up in 2013, about seven years ago, and it was Anwin and I and our friend Eleanor. And we got um, Nicole Vosper to help us design a kind of plan. Um, and initially we started dividing everything up into body systems. Um, and then Eleanor, who's our friend, built on that she was doing a permaculture course and she looked at all the plants and how much shade and room they needed and, and kind of plotted it. And for a couple of years we kept to that and then we've evolved and I'll talk about that in a second. But it was a medicine garden for the last seven years. We've had like regular um, volunteer sessions every month, two times a month. We've had hundreds of volunteers come through. And it's a really great accessible way of gardening because herbs don't need as much attention. Um, so now we have, we kind of, because there's quite a few people from Herbless Art Borders and this medicine garden involved in both projects, we just, brought them together so a lot of the herbs now either go to the volunteers that are helping or to Herbis Out Borders project and we have like slightly changed the beds like you've got the nervous system bed here which we'll keep this is the immune bed but some of our newer beds we're just like dedicating to the really important herbs particularly immune herbs and particularly stress herbs so we've got a bed here of hyssop which will obviously go in the immune cough syrups. We've got Lovage here, which is again a herb that, a new herb that we're going to use in the cough mix. We've got Colt's Foot. Um, this beautiful garden here is actually going to have a picnic table and be like more of a relaxation, relaxing area. And then every other bed is divided into the body system, the immune system, the hormone system, this is actually now the more like nervous system again. We're going to do a lot of California puppy here. Um, we're going to grow a lot of roses over there. Just developing. Um, we also got a 2,000 pound grant to build this shelter education place, which has got a living roof, which has seen better days and hopefully we can develop. So obviously because of the pandemic we've had to change our activities slightly and we are still having volunteer sessions at the garden albeit much smaller sessions with far, with fewer people but our aim is to open this space up not only as a medicine making space for Herbalist Without Borders project in Bristol but somewhere that we can actually invite um, the users of our service to come and grow herbs and make medicines as part of the project rather than just as people who receive the medicine.